Did this ever happen to you? Hmm, seems like home prices will be dropping because of COVID, US China trade war, North Korean missiles, Brexit, US subprime crisis. Let's wait for the prices to drop. One eternity later. No! Hmm. Well, it seems like there's always some sort of crisis happening every year. But why aren't the home prices dropping? With social media and the internet keeping us all up to date with what is happening around the globe, there will always be some sort of crisis happening somewhere. What is important is to what extent these events affect us. Fortunately, Singapore has been a safe haven for investors due to the country's stability. This is one of the reasons why buyers are still flocking to Singapore during this period. Welcome back to another episode on Edmund Property Review, where I share with you the latest know-how on the Singapore property market. Stay with me to the end for the Singapore property market outlook in 2020 and also on how to find great value properties. When we are shopping for our next home, we want the best deal possible. As a buyer, we want to buy the homes we like at the lowest price. And when we sell, of course, we want to make the most profit out of it. So when a crisis happens, it's natural that we keep a lookout for the best bargain deals or fire sales. Pretty much the same as buying in the stock market, right? Buy low, sell high. However, we tend to overlook one very important characteristic of property. That is, they are head, head, head. This word. Heterogeneous. Thanks, Google. What this means is that every single home is different, down to the right unit right beside or above or below you. Your dream home may have this fantastic view. And a few stories down, this may be the view. Because of this uniqueness, it is very hard to compare two different homes by pricing alone, even if they are in the same block. Wouldn't you agree that having properties of a house you like are more important than the pricing? Now, I'm not asking you to break your piggy bank or sell your kidney if you chance upon your dream home. But if you do come across the house that you really like, you should go ahead and buy it as there might not be another house of your dream on the market again. If you decide to wait for the price to drop, somebody else may beat you to it and you will have to live with regrets for missing it. Now you may be thinking, but we have not come across a house that we really like yet. Should we keep searching? Yes, of course you should. However, we do not know when you will come across your dream home. Does that mean you will stay homeless for the next 1, 5, 20 years? Now, even if you do not come across your dream home, doesn't mean you should not enter the property market and invest in one. If you refer to my earlier video on why Singaporeans like to buy property, you will miss out on a whole lot of profits if you sit up and wait for your dream home to come by. If the market conditions are favorable to you, definitely consider investing in a home with good capital appreciation while you shop around for your dream home. This way, you will be able to make a good profit and put yourself in a much better position to buy the home you always wanted when you do come across it. You would not want to see your dream home right in front of you and realize that it's just a tiny really bit out of your budget. So what are favorable market conditions? For starters, having low mortgage interest rates is one and of course, low entry price. Well, what do you know? Isn't that right now in 2020? Interest rates has been historically low since US subprime crisis in 2007 and had only slowly began inching up to 2% and currently it has dropped down to around 1.3% recently. This is pretty low considering MAS said 3.5% has the historical average interest rates for calculating how much money you can borrow. As for the second point, there are currently more supplies on new homes than demand and with the COVID situation going around, Prices will drop, right? Well, that is true. To a certain extent, while there has been an increase in the properties put up for auction, the number of successful mortgage sales had in fact decreased. <coughs> what this means is that homeowners are actually 
have stronger holding power this time around due to the measures the government put in place to prevent the property market from collapsing. Homeowners are allowed to defer on their property principal repayment and they also have the option of taking an equity loan during this tough period to help tide them through so they are not really that desperate to sell their property. Property developers had also been given support by the government via extension of their TOP and ABSD deadlines. As we can see from the transacted prices since the beginning of this year, we can see that there is a strong support in the price trend to prevent a short drop. These favorable conditions have shown that 2020 is indeed an ideal time to enter the property market with relatively lower risk. This period is a time for the market to pick up, recover and improve. Do you want to find out where the attractive properties are available for sale right now? Drop me a message. We do not want too many people to know, right? By the way, if you have not done a kind deed today, click on the subscribe button below. It takes a lot of effort to prepare these videos. Thank you, see you around and stay safe.